Hello. It's interesting how this has evolved. Sometimes when I, I watch my videos, I, I go over them in the mornings when I'm adding in like annotations and description field and titles and all of that. And sometimes when I say hello, I think of like, hello, Newman from Seinfeld. Does anyone else ever think of that? I don't know. I didn't intend for that, but that's just how I started saying hello at the beginning of these vlogs. It is a little after 4 p.m. and I just finished watching the latest Casey Neistat video, which I actually got a good laugh at. It was pretty funny today. There was, um, Casey was riding around like trying these new like scooters that he got in the mail and it was just funny. He hangs out with this guy, his name's Sean. It was amusing and it was just two guys being really dangerous in the streets of New York City and you know, it's just, it's fun watching his vlogs. Let me know if any of you watch him as well. I just finished a smoothie as well. I and accomplished most of my morning routine. And I'm so, so excited to do the morning routine video now that I have a sponsor for that. So I can't wait to put that together. Not sure when that will be out yet, but I'll keep you posted. I have to wait for the products to come first. And I'm just feeling great. I finished the Power of Intention today, which was a little bittersweet, but I'm excited because I have so many other books, like that stack right there, that stack right there, that collection right there, not to mention my bookshelf. I mean, there's books everywhere. And not to mention books that are on here, my iPad. I mean, I am just so happy I'm reading every single day and I cannot encourage it enough for you. So I have to do a sponsorship proposal. I don't know, sponsorships, it's funny. It's like sometimes I go through a lulls when I don't, when I don't have any sponsors and then sometimes it's just like, one opportunity after another. So I'm like feeling really grateful right now. The giveaway, speaking of sponsorship stuff, is is really un, um, been awesome. If you haven't entered it yet, be sure you do so. It's gaining traction and you can actually gain points with the giveaway every single day. I use this system called Rafflecopter and um, there's like two mandatory things which are super easy. Sign up for my newsletter and then just go check out the DSC website. And then the third thing you can do is tweet out about it. And every day I'm changing the tweet message or you could customize it and make it your own. And you can do that every single day and you'll get new points for that. And that'll actually increase your odds of winning. Rafflecopter is really cool because every time you, you do something you get a point for it and it's like, Kind of like, a, you know, a, when you enter a raffle with one of those little tickets and you put it into a bin, if you put in a bunch of raffle tickets, you up, you increase your odds of winning. And so that's how Rafflecopter works, the digital version. It's very, very cool. And it's they have a free version you can use if any of you are uh, content creators as well. So I need to do that proposal before the end of the day. I would like to call my grandpa soon. I'm going to try to go for a hike with Jason later if he'll if he'll decide to go with me. <laughs> it's funny, like, I don't really like hiking by myself, so if nobody will go hiking with me, I'll usually just walk around the streets of my neighborhood, and uh, there's so many hills around here. It, it really helps get my heart rate up, walking up and down the hills, and there are all the different paths to take. Ah, it feels good. So, what else can I tell you? Not really much else to, to report yet. I'll let you know how my grandpa's go, doing. The prayers from the video a few days ago keep coming in. There is a really, really incredible one from Kelly. And if you want to read hers, it's like this whole prayer she wrote out. It's absolutely amazing. Kelly, if you're watching, you are incredible. I need to reach out to you privately to thank you for that. Um, Kelly, I think her username right now is KL or KLOO. I don't remember. You've changed your username a number of times, Kelly. Keeping an eye on you. All right, I'm gonna go do this proposal, call my grandpa, and I'll check in with you later on when I have something exciting or interesting to share. Just got off the phone with my grandpa, and I feel very uplifted. He sounds really good. He definitely sounds 
like he's struggling, but his spirits are high. And as I've said about my grandfather, that's very common for him. So when his spirits are high, I know that he's doing his best. So I know I stepped outside to take a breath of fresh air and just be grateful for my life and my health, which is something I'm, I'm trying to be more and more mindful of. And um, I just had some soup. Now I'm gonna jump, oh, I sent off the proposal. And now I'm gonna type up some notes. Actually, I think I'm gonna read for a little bit. And then I'm gonna start working on all of the typing. I need to type up the healthy, balanced, vegan body notes. And I might even type up my notes from the power of intention. So, got a lot of, uh, got a lot of computer time ahead of me today. And I'm really hoping that I get to go on that hike later. Or I choose to go on the hike, I should put it that way. Yippee! We're on a walk. With you know who. And there's this little box of free dog stuff, including this, which is so cool. Prayer to St. Francis for our pets. Aw, Evie, you got a special prayer just for you. Evie, you got a prayer. <laughs> yes, this is for you. This is a prayer for you. We have a very steep hike ahead of us. We're going up there. You ready for this? <laughs> I guess. Less than 20 minutes in. Beginning to wonder what we signed ourselves up for. Been through worse. <sighs> Been through worse. This is tough. Feels good though. Well. It's not like we're going to be stranded in the middle of the Arizona desert with no food or water and not knowing where the car is. Yeah, that's never happened Maybe you'll before. tell them that story later. So close. That's our destination. That tree. Oh. That moment when you feel the finish line coming though. Finish line's in sight. That's a Ooh. good feeling. It doesn't count unless we touch the tree. Wow, look at all this. Oh look, home sweet home. Evie, hey Evie. <sighs> Made it, wow, it's beautiful up here. And there's the Hollywood sign. So that is called the wisdom tree. Here's a little wisdom for you. Sometimes it's really hard making the climb to where you want to go. And you want to give up, you want to stop, you want to turn around, you're in a lot of pain. But when you keep pushing through and you make it to the top, you forget all the pain. And you're just grateful for being there. And then there's the way down again. Which may or may not be as painful and hard. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this 360 view of LA. <laughs> you don't want any water? No? It's not. That's a strong no. But mom will have some. <laughs> so much dirt, dust. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This is challenging. How you doing, Piglet? <sighs> have to ice my knees later. We made it! 
baby. High five. Oh, smooth sailing from here. Well, we survived the hike. Now we're gonna go to Grocery Outlet, which I haven't been to since this location opened. It's always fun going in here because you never know what you're gonna find. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna find. I found a few pretty good things. But the most exciting find was this. One of my favorite kombuchas and the best flavor. This is the only flavor they had and I love this one. It wasn't the best deal, it was like a dollar off, but money's money. And now I'm eating these. <laughs> Look at Evie. <laughs> and Jason's having. How much, You're proud. How much was it? 99 cents. Do you want a piece of coconut? She's a spoiled pig, if I've ever seen one. Mm. The best part about the chia pod is this amazing tiny orange spoon that you get. Yeah, those spoons are quite nice. The chia pod's a very satisfying mm. snack. Mm. What, you like that coconut? <laughs> Here. Mm. That was a really nice way to can't really say end of the day because my day ends quite late. So that was like a great midday activity going for that hike and going to Grocery Outlet. I scored some pretty good deals at Grocery Outlet. Um, in addition to the coconut and the the kombucha and the coconut snack, which I already finished. I'm, I'm saving like a few sips of kombucha, but that's a, I don't know if that's going to last till tomorrow. I got this cool a charging cable for my iPhone because my other one broke very easily and this one's like this pretty like rope this is only four dollars I now I kind of want to get another one now that I know it works really well and the best deal was on kimchi been trying to eat a lot of cultured vegetables and I'm really hooked on kimchi right now and I got this one it's not organic, so that's the downside. This was like a dollar twenty-five. I looked at my receipt when I got home, and I was upset that I didn't get several of these because this will last me like a couple days maximum. That's insane. The organic kimchi that I buy from Farmhouse Culture, the best deal I found on that is six dollars for about the same size. Now that's much higher quality. It's got like sea vegetables and stuff in it, but I can't, I can't believe how inexpensive that is. So I might have to go back to Grocery Outlet. The problem with Grocery Outlet is you never know how much stock they have of things and how frequently they get them. So I could go back tomorrow and they could be out of the kimchi. I think there was only a couple there. Oh well, um, what else? I got these, which are okay. I like the chestnut flavor better. This is the rice, buckwheat, and millets, all gluten-free crackers. They're, they've got a nice texture. I haven't had these in a while, and it was a good price. I made some zucchini hummus tonight, which I dipped the crackers in, and it came out pretty well, except a little too much garlic. So I'm trying to, I might like use it as a sauce or something, raw zucchini, tahini, hemp seeds, lemon juice, garlic, salt and pepper, and cumin. So good. Uh, what else did I get tonight? I got a coconut. It was one of the better prices on Thai coconuts, $2.50. I've seen them for around $3 throughout the city. And uh, yeah, I had a pretty good shopping experience, except a lot of the food has already been eaten and isn't gonna last very long so oh well it was it was just nice to go there I really love going to grocery outlet I wish there was a, one a little bit closer that one is like I don't know like 10 miles from me or something which isn't bad but it'd be cool if there was one as close as the other markets um let's see I'm going to take a um another bath tonight not only because of the routine, but 
because I bet my legs are going to be really sore, sore tomorrow, so I want to use a lot of Epsom salt tonight. And I also need to give Evie a bath because she's pretty dirty and she sleeps with me at night. She probably shouldn't even be in my bed right now, but what can I say? She's spoiled, if you haven't noticed already. And I still have to type up my notes from Healthy Balanced Body. That I'm filming this tomorrow, and this usually takes me a couple hours, although this book is very basic, so I don't have a ton of notes to take on this, so maybe it'll take me less than that. And, um... Yeah, that's my main thing for tomorrow is recording that video, but I still have all sorts of other projects to work on, and I want to start reading another book now that I'm done with Power of Intention. I'm really torn. I've been reading this, The Abundance Code, which is awesome. I'm going to be using tips from that in Creative Wealth, and I want to read more of Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. I would like to finish The Motivation Manifesto by uh, Brendan Burchard. And I want to finish reading this old classic. I actually want to read, like, uh, what is it? Gr uh, Think and Go Rich. It's Grow Rich. It's right on the front. I, I want to read that, but this is what I got my hands on so far. So I have a number of books with lots of tips on just how to live a great life, be successful, and make money doing it. And I will be putting all of that into Creative Wealth, which I'm starting to work on again, and that feels exciting. I, I'm trying to launch that by the end of this month, August, so stay tuned if you're curious about that. I'll keep you posted. So I'm going to go take that bath, and if there's anything else worth reporting, I'll check in with you later. If not, thank you so much for being part of my day. Splish, splash, Evie's taking a bath. Evie. Hey, I think this is a good way to end the video today. What do you think? Aww. You're a good girl. You're a trooper. You ready to come out? Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, do the shake.